Greetings, friends. I titled this video, Eternal Insecurity or a True Relationship with God. We're going to talk about a true relationship with God. Now, I asked this question, what topics would you like to see on my YouTube channel? And Angela wrote this. How about how we must trust God? Key word here, trust trust in God she goes on to write I hear a lot of people say they love God and they have a personal relationship with God but I think putting all your trust in God is so very very important do we really really even though we say we have a personal relationship We've done away with religion. We have a personal relationship with the Father. But do we trust in God? Jesus tells us, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, in relationships, let me ask something. Have you ever in your life been in a relationship with another person? Let's say that they love you, but there was no trust. The trust was missing. Even though you were in a relationship together and they told you how much they cared for you, cared about you, and how much they loved you. But maybe they were in a past relationship, but didn't work out so well. Where that bond of trust was broken and now they're in a relationship with you they tell you they love you but there is no trust they have no faith in you they've already predetermined that somewhere down the line that you're going to fall short of your promise to them and they begin to accuse you and to throw accusations at you that you're not guilty of rather than having faith and trusting in you and believing in you and that can be very hurtful how do you feel how did you feel when this person said they loved you Yet there was no trust. They didn't, uh, they didn't trust you. They accused you of things you weren't guilty of. They had no faith in you. How do you think God feels when we say we're in a relationship with him? And look what he has done for us. To send his only son to this world. To die on the cross. So you could have everlasting life and be with him. So you could have a chance of being saved from the evil of this world. How do you think God feels when we don't put our trust in him? When we don't have faith in him? And that is the key faith a lot of times we want to take things into our own hands maybe God's not working on our time maybe the things that you have been praying for haven't come to fulfillment quick enough for you and you begin to doubt you begin to doubt in God coming through for you he's a keeper of his promises God doesn't change he's the same yesterday today and forever but the key is faith in things that you cannot see that God will come through and believing that's where we're that's where we're lacking in believing believing 
before that thing comes to pass and already claiming victory, already claiming. It reminds me of the story of Jabez. He already thanked God ahead of time for the prayers. He already thanked God ahead of time for the prayers that he sent up to the Father. He thanked him in advance, knowing and believing. Let me share a story from the Old Testament with you. I want to read from the book of Daniel, the third chapter. I'm going to begin at verse 14. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true? O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now if you be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had full faith that God would deliver them. Undaunting faith and trust, they had a true relationship with God. Verse 19, then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury and the form of his visage uh, was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was wont to be heated. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and to cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hose and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace was exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Now listen to me. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High, God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon those bodies. The fire had no power, nor was a hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him. 
and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language would speak anything amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their house shall be made of dunghill because there is no other god that can, can deliver after the sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. God can spare you from the trials and the situations and the stumbling blocks that you're facing today. But you've got to have faith. You've got to have that same trust in a relationship. Trust and faith in knowing that he will bring you out of that fiery furnace. And I think often of the woman that had the issue of blood. All she needed to do was believe. And her faith, all she did was reach and just touch the hem of Jesus' garment and she was healed. The gifts of the Spirit are alive in the world today. There is healing. There are miracles today. But we all talk about eternal security. We've got to do away with the insecurity. In this relationship between you and God, you've got to put God first. No doubt. You've got to trust him. Can't accuse him of things that he's not guilty of and expect him to work a miracle in your life. Put all your trust in God. Faith will move a mountain. Jesus said that power has been given unto him over the heavens and the earth. Jesus said to his disciples after he healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, raised the dead, he said, you will do greater things. Believe and it will be so. God bless you. Leave me comments. I hope this has helped.